Hey guys, how's it going? On this video, we're going to talk about the most common voltages that you would find on an electric bike and what that might mean. Let's get started. So the most common voltages that you would find on an electric bike are ranging between 36 volt and 52 volt. And it's usually a 36 volt, a 48 volt, and now a 52 volt, which is the latest voltage that you would see. And in most cases nowadays, you'll find the lithium battery inside of an electric bike. So the way that they get the voltage to stack up on a battery is to run these batteries in series. Each one of these batteries is 3.7 volts nominal and to get up to 52 you have to run this in series 14 times which means 14 S. So on a 14 S battery you have a positive here, the negative end of the battery on the first cell right here which is bridged over to the positive end on the next battery and then so on and so forth throughout the series until you get up to the 52 volts and that's how it's done. So the way that they get more capacity out of a battery, let's say a 14S battery, is that they would run these cells in parallel. So what happens is you take let's say five of these cells in parallel which means that all the positives and all the negatives are connected to each other and then it's seriesed over to the next bridge. So that's how you get more capacity out of a battery without stacking up voltage. So the most common battery and voltage that you'll see nowadays is a 14S, which is a 52 volt battery. But sometimes you'll see some older batteries that are 48 volt, which simply means they take a cell out, which brings it down to 13S, and that's the older style battery that you'll see. And if you go down to an even older style, which is 36 volt, it comes down to a 10S battery. So that's all it means when they change the voltage on batteries. They just stack the series up to get the different voltage, and that's all it is. So you might be wondering why they went to a 52 volt battery now. Well, the higher voltage doesn't always mean a faster bike. The higher voltage simply means that it's a more efficient system. So the less amperage that you have going on through the motor and through the controller, the more efficient the motor and controller are going to be to produce the rotational torque that you need for your bike. And that is why they're bringing the voltage up to now 52 volts so that the whole system's working a lot less hard and plus all your cabling can shrink because there's less amps going through it. I hope that helps you better understand the different voltages that are on an electric bike and what that might mean. Until the next video, we'll see you next time. Bye.